let's try attempt number three. being monitored and recorded for security purposes. Please have your file number available for the next representative. CC on associate, Mr. Bell, may I assist you? Yeah, this call is being recorded and will be provided to the local police, sheriffs, and Colorado Mr. Bureau of Investigation. Okay, Okay, make sure you get them extension 405 and tell them Mike Bell is calling. All right, if this is found to be a okay. scam, do you wish to proceed? And then they hung up. How do you like that? All right, I think this is like the fourth or the uh, fifth or sixth attempt to try to get some kind of information all calls are being monitored and recorded for security purposes please have your phone number available for the next representative Sorry, no one is currently available to take your call. At the tone, please leave your message. Wow, now there's nobody available to take my mess my, my call. Huh, wonder what the deal is with that. All calls are being monitored and recorded for security purposes. Please have your phone number available for the next representative. CC on Associate Mike Bell. Yeah, this call is being recorded and will be provided to the local police, sheriffs, and Colorado Bureau mm -hmm. investigations. Do you wish to okay. proceed with this call? Yes, no problem. All right. I have received this call Monday. And again on Wednesday, um, my name is Andy Simmons, and I need to find out um, why everybody's getting two different stories from this phone number. Somebody had called. I have no idea. I can give you a, a number she gave me. Hold on one second. All right, thank you. All right, back on hold. Hello, sir. What's, what's the case number, sir? All right. The number that somebody gave me is... One second. I'll look that up for you, sir. One second. All right. Sir? Yeah, I'm here. What's coming up is Andy. Yes, that's me. Andy Simmons? That's correct. Okay, and everybody called here on the 12th. Right. Um, on the 12th... Alright, on the 12th, 
somebody had called my cell phone, but I was at work. They called the house and spoke with my dad and said that I'm being sued for some money, but I, I, got, a, I got one question first. In the voicemail that I was given was saying that y'all were retained by somebody, but y'all never did say who y'all was retained by. Can you please confirm who you're being retained by? First of all, let me let you know what this is a reference to, okay? Did you... Hold on, one you called in the day. Oh, yeah. I called in yesterday, uh, and I called in this morning. Tell me told you what this was about. Why did you keep calling in? For what? No, I called yesterday, and you're... They, you the they, got, they got two recorded conversations with you. Yeah. Why did you keep calling it, Andy? What's the front? They, they, they're sending you to court. They're documenting the proper protocol through your social security number. Well, listen, I only talked to the operator yesterday, and she said my case manager was out. The other gentleman you spoke to was my father. And you didn't call here today? Yeah, I called here this morning. And when I gave them the whole line about this is being recorded, everybody hung up. Mm. So yes, I have called, but I cannot get no information about who retained y'all, who is suing me. Okay, they explained that to you, sir. Not to me, they didn't. The company is a Wycovia. They're saying that you defrauded them. Okay. You okay. was residing at the... People probably, you had a contact number, which was 205-494-2004, date of birth, January 24th, 1970, cell phone number 706-393-6175 at the time. Uh, hold on a second. What was that date of birth again? Sir, you, listen, no, but that's why they're, they're, they're hanging up on you. You're, you're calling here playing games, okay? What I'm going to do is I'm going to sign off on your paperwork. I'm going to send it back to the district court. They're going to document the proper protocol through their social security number to find out where you reside. No, I, no, no, hold on a minute. I, I think I you gave myself. the... I do it myself, okay? What, what, excuse me, sir? I just repeat back the year, my year of birth. I think you got no, it wrong. No, I, I don't, I don't want to repeat it. Okay, did, okay, did you, you say 1970? Okay. Did you say 19... I didn't say anything. I didn't say... Give me one second. Let me just pull your original file up. Okay? You know, I... Now, let me speak let to your supervisor. Let me speak okay, to... I am one of the supervisors. Oh, yes, I, I want to speak to a different supervisor. Okay, well, they're in court right now. Okay, we'll... We'll be emailing this over them so they can actually file this. Well, then you can answer the okay. remaining questions I have. I, I just got... questions you have. Nobody's going to keep playing games with you. I've got... You're i got scared. two more. That's all it is. You're scared. I'm not scared. Afraid. I've already done research on your I company. Wouldn't call, I wouldn't call this many times if I wasn't afraid, if I was at peace with it. No. Okay, no. Give me one second. Let me just pull it up. I just want to make sure I have the address on here where they're going to be pursuing you at. All or right. have a place of employment at. All right, yeah, let's do this, because that was my next question. Because when will I... Be... Nobody's, nobody's going to be wasting time with you. Okay? No, I'm... You're just calling here because you want information because you're scared. No, I'm not okay, scared. Um, now, now what's, what's the problem now? The, our date of birth, January 24th, 1970. You're 37 years old. F Which address you're at? The f Which one you reside at? Well, if you so got this paperwork, well, first off, which one? Are, which one are you resign at? So I can sign off on this paperwork, so you can receive your summons, and you can dispute this with the judge, okay? Well, first off, you because I don't want to send them to your place of employment, okay? Well, first off, the year, the, my year of birth true. is wrong. Yeah. Okay. Well, let it be wrong, then. You're not, you're not born on January twenty fourth, nineteen seventy nine. Uh, you didn't say seventy nine. You said seventy. Okay, Ooh, I said 79, okay? When do you want these summons to, to send to? So I can put this right address on there. Well, if you oh, I'll put all three of them. Oh, I'll just send them to your place of employment. You're still at the driver's call? The, the where? Okay, sir, I'm going to sign off on this paperwork. I wish you the best in court, okay? You said driver's call. The one, the 1,088 Berry Road. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I have not lived there in like five years. You never lived in Benbury Road. That's where you was working at, correct? No, that's my home address. I haven't lived there in five years. Okay. 
So obviously your company is not too damn smart to get the correct address. Oh, are you still working at Paranormal, Paranormal Products? Uh, you might want to get that name correct before you mail out papers. <laughs> Good luck in court, okay? Once this, the, the government puts you in a federal data, they know exactly when you receive mail and when you receive your checks, okay? Good luck in court, okay? Yeah, what was your name again? Oh, and he hung up when I asked for his fucking name. All right. Yeah, so he's trying to say it's from some bank, Wachovia, that I've never been with, but couldn't give me the correct date of birth, couldn't give me a correct address, and this is what, about the seventh, eighth attempt trying to get through? Yeah, okay, something don't seem right here.